far Cartwright so mysterious. The name that has been given to them sounds quite prosaic and self-explanatory. The problem is that the Cartwrights I'm referring to are not tracks clearly worn into the stone by wheeled vehicles, as can be seen in places like Pompeii. I'm talking about the prehistoric parallel groups that exist in the hundreds in Malta, and can be found in other places too. They are mysterious because their characteristics make it difficult for experts to conclude one way or another what they were used for. It's also unclear whether they were purposefully carved out of the bedrock or worn over a long period of time by some sort of a vehicle. Most experts agree on a Bronze Age date, but this topic is far from settled. One example in Malta is interrupted by a Punic tomb, which is why it's thought it dates to a time before this. However, as pointed out by the archaeologist Anthony Bonanno, the Punic period was long, so we could be looking at the reuse of an earlier site within the same cultural phase. This map shows the cutlets that I visited in green, as well as those I'm aware of but haven't been to yet, either because they're on private property or because I only recently read about them. It's far from being a comprehensive distribution map of all the cutlets. There are others listed in books and documents from before GPS uh, was used, so I'm still trying to locate them. But it does go some way um, to showing how common they are here. Cutlets more or less all have the same gauge of around 1.4 meters between each parallel group. Some cartruts come in sets, others are on their own. The famous Clapham Junction cartruts are a particularly large group, whereas this one in Shemshir is a single rut. This doesn't mean it wasn't part of a set though. It could be that weathering and construction in the area have removed traces of any other ruts. In the group, some cartruts run alongside each other, whereas others make crisscross patterns. Sometimes the grooves are doubled, such as this one at Tablancas in Chiquilla Gozo. They vary in depth, but this could be due to erosion. Newly discovered ones that have been buried in soil, probably for thousands of years, tend to be very deep. This contrast can be seen in the Mutafa. It's not, also not always easy to make out the depth of the cartlets due to masses of vegetation. The set on the left has been exposed and known about for many years, whereas the set on the right was discovered buried in a field during construction work in recent years. Some areas have a higher concentration of ruts than others, but once again, this could be because many have been destroyed over the years. Recently, those recorded during construction work have been protected with a mesh, with the building work continuing over the top of them. However, there are many references in old documents and photographs that were most likely destroyed. Thus, there will be a lot that have simply eroded away. There are many in Mostar and Nashar, for example. These may once have been joined together and in turn connected to others, making one big net network, which lends weight to the argument that they were part of a transport system. Old documents record many in the Amsida area, but the only one that is extant is in the grounds of the Matadei Hospital, protected by a wall. From the direction it runs in, it looks as if it was once joined to the set of cart ruts in San Juan to the northeast. The same could be said for those in the Tachench and Sanat area of Gozo, or those in Siduri, which are all walking distance from one another. In Amjar, there is a very deep set on the road leading to Zebia, and then another group about one kilometre to the northwest. Here's a video of the first set in Amjar facing south. There are there are several very deep ruts, all running in different directions or branching off from one another. In this video, there is also a good example of the lip or inner rail I've noticed in many of the Maltese car ruts. Here's another video, this time um, of a set in Sijuri. In spite of the natural weathering, they're still in really good condition. The landscape where cart ruts can be found varies. Sometimes they go up a hill, other times they are on flatlands, some are curved, others are straight. They are rarely found in valleys, but there are some examples such as the dry valley of Reed Ha Hamim in St. Julian's. A rather sensational idea is that the cart ruts were carved during the last ice age when the Maltese landmass was a lot bigger and was joined to Sicily by a land bridge. The reasons given are that some cart ruts run under the sea or off the edge of cliffs. However, experts believe this to be because of more recent seismic activity. 
Thus far, no evidence for human habitation on the islands during the last ice age has been found. Also, I guess the Kartruts in Reed Ha Hamim would mean a later date, since the valleys would have had rivers running through them in the ice age when the climate was considerably wetter than it is now. It is possible that the cart ruts were carved, but it's generally thought that they were worn down by a vehicle carrying a load, possibly enabled by some prior pit work for the tool. Experiments have been done in the past which sought to solve the mystery of how they were formed, but no ultimate conclusion was reached. The theory that they were caused by a wheeled vehicle pulled by animals falls down in part because the width of the ruts can vary slightly over their course. Wheels would get stuck. There are also some sharp turns and steep drops in places, um, also not great for wheels. Hoof marks in the middle of the ruts would also be expected in such a scenario. Sledges and slide cars have also been put forward as theories but face similar issues. Some problems with the theories can be explained away by assuming that there was a thin soil cover at the time, but this doesn't quite work with all of their varied characteristics. Since dating hasn't been confirmed, the culture that built them isn't known, which also makes it difficult to know what they were used for. One idea is that they had something to do with transporting megalithic blocks to the temples. In fact, many are located near ancient quarries. However, none can be found terminating at any of the temple sites. It has also been suggested that they were for irrigation and to help prevent soil degradation. Some of the parallel cart ruts suddenly do look like they could be irrigation channels in a field system. But once again, this theory doesn't explain all of the varied characteristics and locations of these groups. Sardinia also has cart ruts, but not on the scale of Malta. On the whole, they have similar characteristics, but I haven't noticed the inner rail or lip that I've seen on the Maltese ones. The two sets that I've explored are in the vicinity of Neolithic tombs. This first set is at the Necropoli di Sucucifissu Manu near Porto Torres. They run for more than 500 metres, broken up in places by tombs which have caved in. There are multiple ruts running alongside each other, or crossing and branching off in places. Here's a short video of one section of the ruts. Once again, they haven't been dated, and it's not known if there's an association with the tombs. Since they are broken up in places by tombs which have caved in, it doesn't necessarily mean that they were created earlier than the Domus to Janus, as these types of necropoli, necropoli are known. I guess a previous culture could have taken advantage of the soft bedrock in this area to create the cart ruts to enable quarrying, and a later culture could then have built tombs in the area because cavities already existed and the rock was workable. Or perhaps they were carved later than the tombs as a little understudy transport system, maybe they were contemporary with the tombs, and helped with the construction of them. But then surely they would be at every tomb site in Sardinia. There are thousands of rock cut domes to Janus, but not thousands of carriots. Interestingly, this set is about two and a half kilometers from the Neolithic altar site of Monte Dacadi, although there's no known relationship between them. Another site is near the village of Villa Sant Antonio. These ruts are close to the Isphorus necropolis, but don't run right on top of the tombs as they do with the Sucrucifissu Manu. They're quite worn since they run about 100 metres along a footpath between the fields. Several Neolithic men here are also in the area, but once again, there's no known relationship between them. However, it's tempting to imagine the cart ruts as being Neolithic in age, and having had a role to play alongside other monuments of the same period, and also to imagine that the Neolithic landscapes in different regions had a relationship to one another. Unfortunately, there's no conclusive evidence for this at the moment, but it is a possibility. Let's keep exploring. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe to my channel. References are in the description below. Follow me on Instagram for more content and you can find details on each of the sites I visit, including their GPS locations, on my website.